good. All right. You've got something unusual on your hand here, on your wrist, right there. Look at that thing. It moves around, doesn't it's it? It's pretty. Does it hurt much? <laughs> Uh, when I put pressure on it. When you push on it too hard? Yeah. Now, I can't help but see that you've got a large scar right by this thing. Tell us what's going on here. I have had this removed once already. Two years ago. Or two years ago in October. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Well, either they didn't get it all or you got a new one in the same place. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I want to say they didn't get it all. Probably didn't all come out. And what we're going to do for you, since it hurts, is we're going to aspirate this, okay? So we're going to try to withdraw the fluid out of it and see if it feels better. It could come back again, mm -hmm. you know? And if it does, again, I suggest we send you to a different hand surgeon maybe and have them look at about maybe removing it for you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Well, sorry that does happen. I'm sure they told you there was a risk that these yeah. could return. Yeah. All right. But you can move your fingers all okay, and that's not been a problem? Mm -mm. Okay. And you're all right if we video you for, the, for YouTube and the Internet and all our friends around the world? Yes. Awesome, awesome. I'm actually going to need gloves. Yeah, you do, Don. I do, Don. <laughs> We're going to do this one with no gloves. Right. <laughs> Gumby, did you have a nice Easter? I did. You did. Mm -hmm. I've seen you since then, right? I was here Monday. I missed uh, two days. Were you here Monday? Mm -hmm. I was here Monday, but not Tuesday and Wednesday. Right. Tuesday, I had to go on a trip out of town for a day, and then Wednesday, I had yesterday, I had to go do that myelogram. Yeah. yeah. I have a history of some neck problems and had surgery about a year ago no. and I've been having more pain again. So as a result of all of that, I had to go do another test to find out what's going on. I'm actually waiting on a phone call now to give me the results. Oh man, do you have your phone? He's right here. is with I'm us. Watching. Nerpy's, watch, Nerpy's watching, watching the phone for everything me. Everything at the same time. <laughs> Did you get my nice, beautiful new Aggie ring in the shop? Yes, it's is that an Aggie great. ring? It is. I just got it. It's nice. That's awesome. From my master's graduation. Congratulations. Woohoo! Congratulations. Congratulations. Woo <laughs> Alright, the first thing we're going to do is spray a little cold spray on that, and I'm going to numb this for you with a little bit of our house blend. Okay. Right there, Gumby Jean. Can you hear? Oh, I'm so sorry. Right here. <laughs> looks good. A little stick. You ready? Ooh, don't like needles. Don't like needles. No, sir. Why not? They're fine. Ooh. A little sting? Did it sting mm -hmm. much? A little bit. Shouldn't have been too bad. Mm -mm. Alright, good. Let's hand that back to Gumby Jean. Poor Shreveport. Sorry, Shreveport. You <laughs> thought you were done with all of this, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> now it's been back. It came back about three months ago, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're hoping that this will still drain <coughs> alright. Nothing, I'm good. I'm just changing my position a little bit. You ready? This is an 18 gauge needle. This is a larger needle than we usually use for skin procedures. That is for sure. There it is. A little bit came out. Is it hurting? Mm -mm. So when they're a few months old like that, sometimes these things will congeal, mm -hmm. meaning that uh, it forms a jelly-like consistency. You can see there's a little bit of it in there. Mm -hmm. And it looks like lemon jello in there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, it, it just kind of looks like it. Yeah. So, there's just not a lot of it that's going to come out, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, putting a cortisone shot in there won't help with this, mm -hmm. so we're not going to do that. Okay. That's it. That's all we can get out on that. So, we're just going to stop right here and put a bandage on this. Okay. It may still improve. Probably not. Okay. We may still have to send you over to see the hand surgeon. Okay. Okay. Thanks for letting us video it. No problem. I think we're rolling. We're going, Gumby Jean. Hey. How are you? Guess okay. who we got today? We have Corkscrew. Corkscrew. <laughs> corkscrew. She's so pretty, I forgot you my nickname. You had that nickname. We did your knee, right? Yeah. Hey, how'd that knee yeah. shot work out for you? It's, this one actually feels better. Okay. Now is this one popping all the time. I don't know what we're going to do. With I just you. need to lose weight. Well, you know, when you have knee problems, that, I mean, that can help. But, but yeah. the, you, typically it's not just a weight problem, right? No, I think uh, I'll walk around soon. Are you comfy? Can you rest your elbow a little bit there? Yeah. And then my Achilles, you know, it, it's... Well, we can't do anything about good. that. I That's know. Put you right there. Let's see how that is. There we go. That ought to be pretty good. Can we see all right there, Gumby Jean? Can you see? All right. So, corkscrew. Tell us what's going on here. Well, 
I don't I don't know exactly when it showed up. I just know it was like within the last week or so. Right. It just I just noticed I had this growth. Right there. Right there. It doesn't hurt, does it? No. Does it feel odd or anything like that? Any, well, it feels odd because you know it's not supposed to be there. It I mean, just sits there. Right. You related this to stress. I did. You've been having more stress lately. I have. Want to talk about it? Yeah, my job. I've been on it for 28 years. and It's too much. Huh? It's too much. It has become very overwhelming. So, so. I'll tell you what, I'm the same way. Yeah. Here I am. i got Gumby Jean. I barely survived the Gonzo experience. Don't lie to it, people. <laughs> He loves it. I do. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I'm trying to empathize with my patient here, all right? Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. So, but you were saying you think stress may have played mm -hmm. a role in this. And I, 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 do. I will tell you, I think stress can, can really contribute to any kind of medical problem. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. And you're okay if we video your procedure for oh, YouTube and all yes, our friends on the internet? Yes, I am. I need a four by four, please. All right. Good deal. All right, so we're going to get a little cold spray, and then we're going to numb that up and see if we can't aspirate. You have a ganglion cyst. Okay. All right, go ahead, Gumby Jean. Oh, look at that. All right, what's she going to feel? Stick sting and a burn. And then you felt the stick? Little one. All right. Teeny tiny bee sting, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, a very, very small amount in there. Let's give that just a moment to work. Mm -hmm. And you said this just showed up a few days ago and it mm -hmm. doesn't hurt. Now, it doesn't have you any hurt. trouble moving your hand, your wrist, your fingers, anything like that? No. No, that's all been fine. Now, have you ever had one of these before? No. So it kind of surprised you when you first saw it, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. We'll make a little injection here. Actually, it's just a little needle stick, is what it is. We go right into that cyst. Then we ask for it. We just withdraw fluid. There it comes. Look at that. Look at that coming out of there. What's that look like to you, Gumby? Gel. Some jelly. kind of little jelly, isn't it? There Ooh. it is, right there. Look at that jelly we got out of there. That's Ooh. pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah. The jelly, jelly feet. It's tasty. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Yeah, one little bandage on there. Mm, it didn't feel a thing. Didn't That's hurt? I just keep a little bandage on that. That should continue to do fine. Now, occasionally these will come back. Mm -hmm. Typically, though, once we aspirate them, they stay away for a while. Okay. All right. Um, and sometimes these are related to activities you're doing with your hands. All right. Okay. So if you're doing a lot of typing or you're doing a lot of movements with the hand, then sometimes that can aggravate that little joint in there and cause a ganglion cyst to kind of come up. Okay. But I think you're going to do fine. Yeah, I was <laughs> checking sure. the other one, make sure it's okay. here. <laughs> yeah, make sure this one, All right. and it's good. It's All right, just this one. Feels a lot name. better and good. Yeah, smaller. It looks better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. All right, y'all. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> and action. Hey guys, I'm going nowhere. The medicine video is coming right up. We roll. We don't, we don't give people time to prep at all. All so. right, got T it. Tell us about Meta 7. All right, so I got on Meta 7, and within a couple days, I could feel the energy already starting to go up at work. My concentration was better because I have to pay attention at work. I have to focus, extremely focused. Then afterwards, I have school, college. And when I ran out, I noticed a big difference that... Um, my energy level went back down to what it was before and I, was, you ran out, right? I ran out and yeah. I was sluggish and so um it's worth every penny and I back it 100% I've lost weight on it and that's it awesome so we're re-upping today right we yeah. are re-upping today getting you another bottle today I have and, to and have you been compensated in any way for this no testimonial? no not at all good no. don't ask because I'm not paying you nothing. oh <laughs> You know what? I'll lose weight. I'll, hey. I'll pay for it. The, no, no, it's a good lose the, lose the weight and being able to live like with less, you know, right. jail around my body. It, right. You don't have to pay me. Right. Now, the um, the energy that you feel, do you feel jittery and shaky like no. caffeine or something? I wouldn't take it if I did. No, it just makes you feel naturally. Just, yeah. just have more energy like. Clean. Clean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Clean. Almost like a B12 type, but. Yeah. But. 
better because I've taken just straight B12 and it hasn't worked for me. Like yeah. I've taken the liquid B12 and um, so whatever's in it. Okay. It's worth it. Is it true I'm your favorite doctor? Oh, Dr. Gilmore's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> Hey folks, Watson here for Meta7, a supplement designed by Dr. Gilmore to help you activate your life. It's called Meta7 because there are seven ingredients that are all necessary for a healthy metabolism. Makes sense? People tend to be deficient in many of these seven ingredients due to the modern Western diet. Meta7 is formulated to facilitate your body's natural energy production. Personally, it's helped me get off caffeine and energy drinks. And it's not just me. There's dozens if not hundreds of testimonials on Dr. Gilmore's YouTube page if you want to check them out. But the bottom line for most people is that they feel more focused and energetic throughout the day. So check out some other videos on Dr. Gilmore's page if you want to know more, or just try it for yourself. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Watson out.